Hello guys. Today let's learn something new and interesting. We are going to learn about independent and dependent variables. That sounds great. Tell me more. The only thing I know is that I'm so independent. Nice. I laughed. An independent variable is a variable that stands alone and is controlled in an experiment. A dependent variable is the variable being tested and measured during the experiment. Let's get out of here and find some real life examples. Let's go. Okay then. Now we are in a garden with two exactly same plants here. Both plants are pretty much in the same location and get the same amount of sunlight. However the plant on the left side I water it every single day. The plant on the right side I water it every other day. Now what do you think that I am testing? Are you testing how well they grow depending on how much water they get? OMG. Yeah that's right. I am measuring how much they grow based on how much water they get. Oh maybe we can also add different amount of soil and we can also place them in different places. Hey hey. Calm down please. This experiment would not work if we set it up as one of your suggestion. As if we put them in different places, one plant may have more sunlight and the other may have less. You now see the problem yet? I'm sorry teacher, I don't get it yet. It's fine. Let's have another X maple. Now here we are in a gym. Here is two person doing the same amount exercise and one of them are drinking water every 10 minutes and the other are drinking every 20 minutes. What do you think we are testing now? Are we testing how does the amount of water they drink affect the heart rates of them? Yes, that's right. As we want to have a fair test, we can only change one variables which we call the dependent variable. Oh, so that means that they will do the same amount of exercise, they listen drinks the same amount of water and they eat the same kind of amount of food. Yes, that's awesome. You got it. Now the things you say just now are called controlled variables. Now for example we have a result of which the one drinks water every 10 minutes have a heat rate of 25 times per minute. And the one drinks water every 20 minutes have a heart rate of 35 times per minute. So those are the dependent variables right? Yes that's right. We have conducted a fair and successful test. Now you have a better understanding about this. Could you now give me in real life X maple? Yes yeah, sure. Let's go. Now this is Farmer Bob. He wants to test his new fertilizer to let his crops grow better. He separates his field into two sections, sections A and B, which section he waters his crops as normal and uses the normal fertilizer, and in section B he waters his crops as normal but uses the new experimental fertilizer. Now what do you think is the independent variable and dependent variable? I think that the independent variable is the type of fertilizer used and the dependent variable is the growth of the crops. Tax 100% right. 